is it going ladies and gents klutzy joe coming at you with another review long awaited review and this is review we today we're going to be looking at the mezco king kong of skull island action figure now th as far as i know there's going to be two versions of this guy that are going to be released which is this version and then the black and white version um mezco has always surprised us and we might actually get a uh, deluxe edition where we might actually get three head sculpts and the reason why that i'm saying this is because the black and white one is supposed to come with another head sculpt um different from these and uh aside from that we are also going to get an 18 inch king kong figure which is going to be insanely tall obviously you guys know that your boy is going to get that figure but anyways that's neither here nor there let's look at this figure let's look at the packaging now the packaging is very big uh it's very different in comparison to what you would actually get from the standard Mezco packaging. As you get to see, it's actually with a little angle. Um, it's very big. And you get the little emblem of King Kong of Skull Island right here. And right here on the back, you actually get to see um, some pr some promo shots. Uh, right here, you get to see everything that he's actually going to come with. His head the alternate head the and arrow figure uh the handcuffs and about five different uh, five different hands that come with this one so in total you're actually getting about three pairs of hands and an extra hand uh it's actually pretty cool uh, i bought this at hypnotized hobby so that's why you get to see the price right here yes i paid a little bit more than what was needed but either way, I mean, it's a small price to pay for the king of Skull Island. Now, on the other side, you don't end up getting that much. And right here at the bottom, you end up getting all the... the you end up getting the... Um, uh, <laughs> the credits. Um, right here, DeVito. DeVito Artworks. No, this is not the penguin. No, um, this is basically Joe DeVito's artwork style. And uh, it's actually looking pretty cool so anyways he's enough with the figure i mean enough with the box let's look at the figure and here is kong and all his glory as you get to see this figure is actually pretty cool i love the detailing um here let me just get a little, a little bit closer to the camera there we go and he is just looking insane you get to see the scars right here um scars there uh, the the hair is actually looking real nice, uh, and more importantly, the head the head sculpt is actually looking real cool. I dig this figure. One thing that I'm gonna tell you guys about this guy is that he is extremely heavy. All right, he is a very heavy figure. As you get to hear, he is a, a um a very heavy figure that that uh I just can't believe that Mexico actually did it like this uh for forty dollars. I mean, this thing is a very heavy figure. Uh, it is hard plastic all around that's one of the reasons why is the, 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 there is so much um weight to this guy and the more importantly i mean just trying to move him around there is a lot of a workout that you're uh, uh, there's a lot of hand workout that you're going to be getting so anyways let's look at his accessories he ends up coming with this alternate head which just looks amazing now switching the heads is actually pre pretty easy you just uh pull it out like that and then after that just end up putting it in now a lot of reviewers have actually said that uh the head popping and the head keeps on popping out well the reason why is that it keeps on popping out is because uh he's being pushed in those reviews me personally, I gotta tell you, I haven't had any issues with him uh, with his head popping out as much. Um, I do end up moving him only. Uh, um, this is about as far as he's actually gonna look at from the side. Uh, the same thing. Oh, wow! <laughs> that actually is kind of embarrassing. I just told you guys. Anyways, this is about how far he ends up going over from side to side. It's not much, but I mean, because of his size and everything, it's actually acceptable. He ends up looking up about that much, and my God, you know what this? I think that this is actually being deliberately done by this figure. <laughs> Anyways, he's able to look up about that much, and he's able to look down about that much. So it's not a lot, but it's actually pretty good. Now, as I have him right here, he's actually hunched. 
his articulation is actually pretty cool. Now, I would re I would regularly end up having him posed up like that, um, pushed up all the way from the back, and the reason why is because it kind of gives him more of an upright position. And it's actually pretty cool. As you get to hear it from my voice, I am really struggling to pose this guy because it, it's just very, very rough. His art, we'll get to the articulation in a moment. I know that I'm actually all over the place, but anyways, he ends up coming with two pairs of fists, pairs of open hands that are already out of the box, and he ends up coming with this hand that is made to hold and arrow. Now, I did end up making a modification because I wasn't necessarily happy. I was seeing and arrow having her arms up. Um, I know that they were trying to get um, Fay Ray's. Uh, Faye Ray's um, likeness into the uh, how is it that she was always screaming but again this King Kong and the Faye Ray um, I don't think that they actually mix I think that he actually comes more closer to the uh, 2005 King Kong figure I mean to the 2005 King Kong at least by the style with the scratches and the uh, scars and everything I mean I know that on the 2004 movie you get to see more scratches right here and there but uh Still, it's a real good design, and uh, I just did not like see, and just did not like to see Andar just screaming and everything. So I think that by having her like this, it actually works a lot more better. Her arms are actually rested upon Kong's hand, I mean Kong's fingers, and it actually works a lot more. So I'm digging this. Okay, I'm really digging how that it looks, and uh, switching the hands, it's actually pretty easy. You just pull them off. And then after that, um, slapping it back on, it's really not a big issue. Now, um, a lot of reviewers are also, what they're doing is that they're actually opening the hinges on this thing. And I just think that, yeah, it's cool actually having to see the open hinges and all that stuff. But me personally, what I end up doing is just, I end up putting it on any hand that I'm going to put it. Like, let's say, uh, the fist. All right. And, uh, then just popping it back in. And now you end up having him with it with a, a handcuff. Oh well, restraints, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's a, it's actually looking pretty cool like that though. It, it does end up working a lot more better. And I'm having issues with this. Why is it that I'm having issues with this? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, it's that hard of a figure to actually finagle with. But there you go. So um. There you go, and it's actually working real well. And it's not much of an issue like that, you, you know. I mean, I know that it's actually kind of cool having him with the hinges open and everything. But you know what? Just to get that done, you know, why even open it? It sounds like it's way too troublesome for a lot of reviewers. Uh, you can check my boy on Parallel Universe's uh, video to actually check up on um, how how is it that he did it. But he did say that he had to finish, um, he had to um, mess around with it a little bit. And he's not the only reviewer. I'm pretty sure that you could check out the other reviewers. And yes, it's actually pretty hard to get this thing to open up. I don't want to break this. There we go. <laughs> All right, then. So, yeah, there we go. Me, personally, because I'm a 1970s um, King Kong fan, I would actually have it down here, even though it doesn't close. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. It gives you uh, options, but you know it's a uh, it's a bit of a trip on this. But yeah, it's actually um, very nice. Uh, the chain right here actually does sound like if it's pl um, like if it's metal, but the the restraints are not. So that's the only problem that I end up having. Now, aside from that, his articulation. Okay, let's let's get to that. So he's, as I said, he's able to look up that much. He's able to look down this much. So it's not a lot. Um, side to side is actually kind of sad too. But because of the big size right here of his shoulders, it's actually acceptable. He's able to open up about that much. Which is actually kind of cool. Uh, he doesn't have any bicep swivel. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> but he but he does end up having the uh, upper elbow. I mean the elbow swivel and uh, elbow articulation. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, 
his arms don't actually close anymore. And this is where I end up having a problem with. I really wanted this guy to end up having double jointed elbows. That way his um, arms would have actually gone like this. And it would have actually helped out. Anyways, get out of here. Um, that would have actually helped out, especially by having him beat his chest and everything. That is a very traditional King Kong pose. But yeah, his uh, ab articulation is actually pretty cool. Um, it's basically a chest uh, chest rocker. So he's actually able to go from side to side, which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> and he's actually able to go down about that much so having him on all fours is going to be a bit of an issue especially with the legs because his legs don't actually come up just like that that's about as far as it goes and uh yeah i've been having issues by actually posing him like that so what um because his legs don't open up as much that's about as much as you're gonna open him up in a vanilla stance that that's it's kind of hard, but what you can do is because these are actually connected with the uh, rocker up here, you can actually maneuver it, and uh, yeah, he can actually open up a lot more and uh, real nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of an issue, and uh, to end up having him on all fours, I think I you have to move it up a little bit, and then after I just swivel the the knees, which are actually in. Uh, swivel and a hinge so it's actually pretty cool right here and uh ankle pivot ankle pivot i'm pretty sure that shadow prime is going to be super happy about that but yeah so you it is an issue right there and uh this thing just decided to just open up for once anyways so it's actually kind of trippy to end up having him on all fours uh on all fours he doesn't look um as big but he does look as imposing still so it's actually pretty cool um yeah it's actually it's it's a nice figure honestly i'm i'm digging this one but it is a bit of a challenge especially uh, especially with the uh, workout that has to be done and the head which uh hasn't happened to me before up until i did the i'm starting up until i'm making the review so yeah it's yeah you can take your <laughs> you can take your your um thoughts on that but Anyways, he's actually looking pretty cool. Um, in vanilla stance, he's actually kind of tall. Um, for all of you people that want to put him up against a Godzilla, I gotta tell you guys, you know what? He he looks a little too too big for that. Uh, size comparison. Here he is next to a NECA Godzilla, which is actually the thickest Godzilla that they have actually made. And uh, this one... And doesn't look all that that bad to tell you guys the truth, you know. But the only problem is that because this one is actually built in a hunch position, he's always going to be at that point. And again, like I said, this is the only one that actually looks like he could actually match with Kong. Um, uh, we also end up having this one. This Godzilla actually is uh, does look a lot more taller than King Kong, but it the girth, it, the the size, it just doesn't add up. Uh, we also end up having the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. And again, it's very, very thick as you get to see. So it's very, very hard to actually put him up against anybody. And for all you um, Marvel Legion collectors, you guys got to see that I had a Venom right here. Custom Venom so that he could actually look like the one in the movie. Don't judge. And, uh, yeah, he's a little bit taller than the, uh, standard Marvel Legends figure. Not that far off, though. I mean, yeah, well, kind of. I mean, it does fit into size, into scale, I guess. But it's still looking way too thick. And, uh, the only other figure comparisons that I could actually do is with a Storm Collectibles figure, the Mike Tyson, and uh, yes, Mike Tyson actually hovers a little bit over the King Kong figure, until I raise him up a little bit more, and then, and even then it looks way too hulking, so he's on a scale of his own, people, and uh, last but not least, to compare him to another Mexico figure, here he is next to Frank, and uh, 
yeah, it's just very trippy. <laughs> um, seeing seeing his um scale and everything again. Like I said, if you really want to compare him with another one, with a uh, um with a Godzilla, I would actually go with the GMK Godzilla, the the size and the girth that actually goes real well. Uh, final thoughts. This is a cool, cool figure, man. Um, wow, this thing actually looks like if it was even made by NECA. That's how detailed it looks. So, yeah, this figure is actually looking real good. I dig this. I dig it a lot. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a very, it's a very cool figure. I, I'm so happy that I'm actually able to get this one. Uh, I will be able to, I will be making a review for the black and white King Kong, and I will also be on the lookout to get the 18 inch um, King Kong figure, which is going to be even more stylized than this one. Uh, I think that I will be using the same and Daryl with that 18 inch Kong so that we could actually make it look even more bigger than, you know, more larger than life so that it could look more like a Kong Skull Island type. But yes. This has been Clutchy Joe. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I know that this <laughs> video review was a little bit long-winded and everything, but I am just so excited over this con. Anyways, uh, let me know. Would you actually? Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you want? Uh, would you get one of these? Or would Would you not? Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if and if you don't like it, well, then you know what? Just end up putting a dislike. But either way, just. Help out, help out the channel. I know that I've actually taken a break. Uh, I will be up. Uh, I will be up and start. I, I will start making more reviews now that I end up having some more time. And anyway, so this has been Clutchy Joe. I hope you, that you like this review. Peace out.